folks, Dan Freer here, The Rate Update. Today we're gonna talk about the refinance calculator that I have. Does it make sense to refinance right now or, or not? You get inundated with emails and phone calls and radio ads and TV ads saying it's the best time to refinance, but really, is it? I gotta wait for you to find out. So don't go away, we'll be right back with my mortgage analyzer. Okay, so you keep getting all this stuff saying, refinance, refinance, refinance. Well, it makes sense for the bank because they're gonna make money by refinancing your loan. We do too, that's how we make a living, I'm not gonna lie. But does it make sense? I tell all my clients, let me go through the numbers, and I always say this, let me analyze it and tell you what I would personally do. There's many times I come back and say, you know what, just keep with what you got. You know, you're gonna save 50 bucks, 40 bucks. Is it worth it? I wouldn't do it. If you still want to do it, you know, I, I'll do it on your behalf. Um, but I always look at the numbers in the background and I finally have a, a, a tool that we can break it down and kind of make it a no brainer. You know, we can look at it as okay, let's say you have 25 years left or 26 years left or 15 years left, no matter what that is. And then we can go in and, and say, okay, if we did a 30 year term, obviously your mortgage payment's gonna drop tremendously. Is that what your is that your main goal right now? Some people it is. They're just like, you know what, I took a pay cut, I did this, I did that, I can't afford what I got. You know, I just want the lower payment because I you know, I'd rather live here than rent. And that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. Others are like, you know what, everything's good. Can I refinance, make it make sense and maybe reduce my, reduce my term? How much would my payment go up if I reduce my term? Or I might be able to cut, shave off four, five, 10 years, not 10 years, but maybe four, three, four, five years on your mortgage and have the same payment. Or I, I'm gonna run an analysis right now for somebody and I'm gonna show you the generic version we're, we're gonna lower their payment 132 bucks a month and cut off two years of their term. No brainer. So let's get at it. Here's the tool I got. I'm gonna go through some basics with you because this is gonna vary for every client. Here's what I do. There's all these filters on the side. We go through and we start it out with client. This is Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, uh, refinance. The goals are they wanna reduce their payment. Okay, that's this one. All they want to do is reduce their payment. They're finally back to work. They're trying to dig out of dig out of the hole and they're trying to do, reduce their payment. I'm going through some assumptions. Current property value is 680. We owe 232.9. Okay, the affordability, it's going through some of those things. And then it breaks down, you know, I put in the terms what I can offer you on a 30-year term, a 15-year term, and a 20-year term. And then we hit we go down to the bottom and there's my analysis. And it shows you all kind of different numbers here. Okay, what I'm gonna do with this is I'll send you a link. It's interactive, you can play with this thing. So you're gonna get a link from me and it's gonna break it down like this. And in this case, it'll, I wanna go through some basic things with you. It's it giving us all the details up here. So basically I tried to make it that it's, we're refinancing your current balance, okay? And right now here's your current loan. You're at 4.125, your payment's $1,211.62. You got 26.33 years left. Okay, this person says, you know what, I just wanna save money. I don't care, I just need to save money. Well, in this case, we refinance them at today's rate, 2.875 with an APR of 2.884. Their payment's gonna go down 245 bucks, okay? Now you're saying, well, things are peachy. I would love to pay off my house in 15 years. How do we do that? Well, I put in the 15 year terms and it goes here. You're, you'd have to send in an extra $341 a month, but you'll be paid off in 15 years. Then I'm like, you know what, what would I do? So I backed in some numbers and I said, you know, I really don't wanna go backwards in term, but what would today's rates do for me? So on a 20 year term, my payment would actually go down $137 and I would pay it off in 25 years versus 26.3. So I might be able to same, have the same payment and pay it off in 22 years saving me four years, four years at 1200 bucks a month. That's a lot of cash. So you can go over here and look at more information. There is a whole slew of things you can do, but this is the new tool that we have available. I would love to do this one personalized to you. So if you're interested, please reach out to me and let me know. Here's the best way to get me is go to therateupdate.com. 
My name is Dan Frio. You can reach me at Dan, uh, D for Dan Frio at preferredrate.com. Let me say that one more time. My email address is D Frio at preferredrate.com. If you'd like to call in, be more than happy to take your call. Phone number is 844-775-LOAN. That's 844-775-5626. Follow us on any social media. Or if you're like Dan, I, I, I got a terrible rate and I just need refinanced. What do you need to do? Well, click the apply now button and you're on your way. So that is it on how we can help you determine, does it make sense for you to refinance? So thank you for watching. Please give the, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. By subscribing, you help the YouTube algorithms pop me up the food chart so more and more people can find my videos. And I would greatly appreciate if you do that. Hit the bell down below, slam it. So anytime I do post a video, you get an alert. God bless, take care, and thanks for watching. See you soon.